Welcome back to Let's Read Judge Dredd, and today's episode is hopefully the last one in Our Man in Hondo. It's part four. Judge Dredd succeed in destroying Mega City Agent Robot, who killing Nip Cut Nip Sit Big Wigs. But Honorable Judge Inspector Sadu, he far from satisfied. How did you know the assassin was strike here? What do you know of this robot? The truth, or I will see you right in the cube until I get it. I'll remind you I'm covered by diplomatic immunity, Sadu. I've, you've had my explanation. You will have a full written statement in the morning. Until then, <coughs> good night. Pardon me. He right off. Cool. Okay. Cool a for Oh, I guess cool as a proverbial cucumber. Honorable Judge Inspector Sadu, far from happy. Sadu, not good man to get on wrong side of. Right. Honorable Judge Dredd, also far from happy. There's no way they can positively link the robot to us now, but this whole incident could still set relations back for years. We've got to come up with an explanation for our <coughs> interest, one that'll convince Sadu. I just don't see what we can say. Maybe it's not a matter of what we say, Appleton, but how we say it. Following day, full statement delivered by very junior official of Mega City Consulate. Ondo City judges shake heads. Ugh. Not believe one word. In essence, it's same story Drake gave last night. Pure coincidence. They must think we are simple-minded. Let me offer a more plausible explanation. That robot was planted here many years ago. An agent of... An agent intended to blend with local population and become active only at some, time of, at some time of crisis, say, immediately before outbreak of hostilities, what the Westerners call a sleeper. But something went wrong. Ro the robot unintentionally became operational. Perhaps it was damaged. We know that it was involved in serious accident, uh, six, serious accident shortly before first assassination. As for believing the Mega City one judge simply chanced upon scene, pa. We have statement from uh, Oshi woman that Dread was also seen outside the home of third victim Midori Urakami. No, we can be sure Dread knew about the robot, that he was intent on destroying it, and the only possible reason that was the robot belonged to Mega City one. If that is so, it is an act of war. We must be absolutely certain. I will find out the truth, rest assured. Negotiations on interjudicial crime. Negotiations on interjudicial... Oh, Negotiations on interjudicial crime charter. Is, you imagine, get pretty frosty. <clears throat> I don't I don't get the feeling we're we're getting anywhere uh, with your agreement, gentlemen. I propose we conclude this meeting now. Suits me. Huh It is pity your visit here is so short. However, I promise to do some minor diversion with Tendo Staff. The practice room is ready. Uh, listen, Dread, I don't think... Sure, lead the way. In ritual combat, the spike of the Tendo may not be used to hack or gouge, only to hook and pull. Just really a jumped up... 
Just a jumped up day stick, really. To Western eyes, perhaps. Yet you would be foolish to take such superficial such a superficial view. The weapon and the body must be as one. A true master can and the true master can only be achieved when the tendo grows from your arms. Mega City Judge put up good fight, but Saru eight time Hondo City champion. And he in no mood to mess around. Ugh. Result inevitable. <laughs> Have you killed him? Do not insult me. The blow was precise. The truth drug. Get on with it. The mark will not show here. Soon, dread began to stir. Now, farm devil, you are going to tell me everything. Then perhaps you will die. A, flat, a fatal blow during the contest. A most unfortunate mishap. Outside, consult Wade. He getting pretty anxious. No damn joke. Ah. <sighs> Uh, they've been in there two hours. We've we've business to attend to at the uh, consulate. Please be patient. Judge Inspector, I regret that. Um, <clears throat> I regret that has been an accident. A chance blow to the carotid. What do you mean? What do you mean, Dread? Where is he? Right here. Drop for a moment. I thought. He was unconscious for some time. Thankfully, there was no permanent harm done. Got to admit, you know your st oh. Got to admit, you know your stuff with that tendu sadhu. Maybe when you come to Mega City, I can introduce you to the simple pleasures of the day stick. Until then, he uh, seemed a bit more friendly this time. Reckon he fell for it. We'll see. At the Mega City Consulate, secret recording a at the oh god at Mega City Consulate secret recording device is removed. As far as I could not, as far as I know, I was out cold for a couple of hours. Let's see what really happened. <coughs> you will tell me the truth. The agent was yours. Is that not so? No. Voices belong to Dread and Sadu. Dread say agent planted by Hondo City Exile Group known as Bloodhand Commandos. They hope to spark terrible war between two cities. Okay. Uh, we... We learned of it only yesterday. Sorry, I was trying to figure out who's talking where. We learned of it only yesterday from an informer. The robot's components <coughs> were uh, of Justice Department make. The Justice Department design probably stolen. Looks, it looked like our work. Why, why did you not inform us immediately? The informer died under interrogation. We had no proof. So we felt it best to deal with the situation ourselves to avoid the, any difficult explanations. Yeah, even when your lies were uncovered, you do not admit the truth. It was a mistake, but once you start covering up, it's a little hard to stop. Sleep now. When you awake, you will remember nothing of this. Uh, you were right. They did use the truth drug on you. Yes. See, see, Dread, he won smart cookie. He figure Sadu not let him leave without finding out truth. What Sadu not know is Dread use own drug to implant false cover story in subconscious. Truth drug merely bring out cunning lie. 
I suppose we could have just gone to them with our cover story, but they'd have suspected something if it came too easy. <clears> this <throat> way, so they'll be sure to go with they got the truth. And what what I don't get is how you knew Sada would use the Tendo as a Tendo lesson to get at you. I guess in many ways, Sado and I are alike. I just tried to figure out how I'd work the fight. How I'd work it. The fight was the only opportunity. Well, uh, you can go home satisfied now. Not quite. I won't be satisfied until the return bout. End story, so sorry. Yeah, finally. Well, thanks for watching this horrible racist uh, caricature of Japanese culture. Please feel free to throw up. It's over now. We can go back to our lives for now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.